Class is dismissed, boys and girls. <laughs> Previously on the YTV Retrospective. Ah, this is great. Clear skies, the cool ocean breeze. Ah, I really need this vacation. Wait, what? Come along, class. School's about to start. But this is a cruise, not a school. You there! Why are you still in your pajamas? But this is a cruise, not a school. 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 Oh. It was just a dream. Thank goodness. Ugh. Bad dream. Check this out. Have you ever wanted to see the world, to sail the seven seas? That's good. However, your cruise ship is a school. That's bad. You get to see lots of new people. That's good. The fine cuisine comes from a school cafeteria. That's bad. And Richard Ian Cox is there too for some reason. Can I go now? Anyways, today's show is Breaker High. <laughs> Breaker High stars a group of teens as they explore the world on a high school set on a cruise ship, which is something that actually exists in real life, known as the Semester at Sea, but with college undergraduates. They explore many things that go on during the daily life of high school, friendships, dating, pranks across the school, but shied away from many topics that were discussion points in teen dramas at that point in time. They travel across the sea to many different countries, Although they're very surface level with their representation of each country. Like in the first episode, Sun Also Rises, Max is forced to visit a tea leaf ceremony in Japan with the women, and all of them messing up. The girls try to look for men, and the guys basically being complete goofs. Now, who is our cast? Well, glad you asked, as they are a very interesting bunch. We start with the loner, Max Ballard, son of the ship's captain and principal, Captain Ballard, played by Andrew Arley. He was forced to be on a cruise ship by his parents, and usually has a standoffish attitude towards many of his friends. So, Max, what's your plan for Miss Mitchell's cultural weekend in Japan? I don't know. But I'd sit this one out. Come on, Max, you know you have to choose an activity. I don't know, I guess I'm undecided. With the exception of Tamara Goldstein, who mainly sees him as a love interest, but also her closest friend. You doing okay? Yeah, fine. What's that? Nothing! I mean, it's my friend's band. They're called Malicious Intent. I wrote the lyrics on the fourth song. Here! Enjoy, destroy, whatever you want. Then we have two groups of three. First, we have the girlfriends, starting with the snooty, southern accent talking Ashley Dupree, played by Terry Kahn, best known for playing Aubrey Wentworth in the soap opera One Life to Live. Uh uh! Say the magic words. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's about it. Would you like some creamed cone with that? <laughs> Casty Cartwright is the tomboy who is friendly towards Tamara and would stand up for her against Ashley. She is also a prankster similar to Jimmy and can be able to outmatch him from time to time. I'm saying we should join forces and rule this ship! Oh. Oh. It's like that time when Spider Man and Doctor Doom hooked up so that they could fight Red Skull. Oh, that was awesome! Yeah, whatever. Deal? Finally, there's Denise Williams, who is an academic overachiever and the only black member of the cast. I know how to get rid of Pessler. That's what you said last time. I figured out what we did wrong. The woman is as tough as nails. 
Strong arming her was a useless tactic, right? Then there are the guy friends. First, there's the dim-witted prankster, Jimmy Mortimer Farrell. Hey Cass, what's that? Oh, oh barf-worthy. The jock, Alex Panetta, who is the foil to Max. Blue 37, hut, hut, hike. I go back in the pocket, I zig right, I zag left. Thompson's open in the end zone, I throw the ball. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. And the cool and slick, jazz-loving Sean Stanley Hanlon. That was played by Ryan Gosling. Hey, wait a minute. Again? Hey guys, what about me? You be Princess Leia. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm always Princess Leia. First, are you afraid of the dark? Then goosebumps? And now this? In fact, a lot of actors in this series are even from both. Like Jimmy's actor, Tyler LeBain. Well, then you best be on your bikes and start pedaling unless you want to spend the rest of the summer doing chores. Also from Tucker and Dale vs. Evil and Voltron Legendary Defender. Kids, we can't let them trip that alarm! Tamara's actor, Rachel Wilson. I'm Katie. Um, aren't we in the same lit class? I sit by the window. Uh, yeah, we are. And Alex Panetta's actor, Kyle Alishran. Your necklace. I like it. Oh, uh, yeah, um, it, it was my grandfather's. He was a pilot, um, it's his wings. They're silver. And even further than that, two of the directors of the series were Ron Oliver and David Winning, who also worked on Are You Afraid of the Dark and Goosebumps. Man, those shows had a great pool of talent behind and in front of the camera. The other staff members of the ship include the chef, Nigel Mumford, played by Bernard Coupling. Unhand, my little mallard. You know the horrors I have endured to procure this culinary marvel. I've just been waiting for the day when I can purchase this succulent treat. Their teacher, Anna Mitchell, played by Anne Openshaw. I'm sorry, Sean, was my teaching disturbing your conversation? A little bit, yeah. Not at all. <laughs> and the flamboyant activities counselor, Tony Guilford, played by Richard Ian Cox. Well, Tony, today is the first day of the rest of your life. No more not being appreciated, no more begging those ungrateful little kids to play along, no more Jimmy Farrell belching in my face. <coughs> <laughs> Guess what I just ate? No, no more of it. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna miss those darn kids. Though the series is set on a cruise ship traveling the world, it was actually filmed in Burnaby, British Columbia. The series was produced by Saban Entertainment. And in tone, it feels awfully familiar. Breaker High aired on YTV from September of 1997 to March of 1998, with 44 episodes in total. It also aired on Fox Kids in the UK and the kids block of the defunct channel UPN. Sadly, there were no physical releases for the series available. However, it is currently airing along with another Saban made series, The New Adams Family on Out TV, a Canadian channel that is aimed towards the LGBTQ community. All 44 episodes are also streaming on Amazon Prime, if you have an Out TV subscription. Check it out, and sail to a whole new world of education. When we come back, it's time we take a look at YTV's first attempt at a block for teenagers. And no, I'm not referring to Bionics. We've already talked about that one previously. Next time on the YTV Retrospective. <laughs> Home movies up next, followed by Dari at 9.30 on Limbo. Where am I going to find another replacement? Did someone say replacement? Yeah. 